Hi Crazy Critters, Sugar here. So today we have a little bit of a different video. As you guys can see, we do have our little box here and I got everything covered up with good old Lisa Frank stickers. <laughs> so this is a um, reborn and it actually just came in today and the reason why I'm calling the baby an it is because I'm wanting it to be a surprise gender. So we'll go ahead and get this box opened and now I have never opened up a reborn before so I am very nervous and excited and so if I don't say the right terminology and whatnot I am sorry and you know feel free to correct me just because you know I've been really wanting to get into this hobby for a long time now I just didn't really have the money to be able to do it so I'm super happy that right now I am able to do an unboxing of a reborn so this is what it looks like opened up so I don't believe he comes with um, much extra stuff I believe it was um, and I think I just said the gender but you can see the blue anyways it's fine <laughs> but um he I believe just comes with um, an outfit and then himself of course <laughs> and then a pacifier so oh my goodness you guys i can see a little leg and a little baby booty oh my gosh oh okay oh my gosh so we got a little extra outfit this i did not realize he was going to come with so that is so cute it's a little mint with arrows and i actually do have another um reborn coming in the mail soon so we'll be able to do another unboxing oh my gosh you guys that face oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh he's so tiny okay so here is the little bottle that he comes with and i'll go into um all the artist info whenever i um grab him i wanted to make sure that i was giving um credit where credit was due um and so i made sure to ask the seller um about all the details oh my gosh you guys okay so then he also comes with this little pacifier, which has little planets and stuff, and it is um, already magnetized. I wanted to make sure that it he had a magnet in his head and we didn't need to make like any putty um, pacifiers. Oh my gosh. Oh, he is packed in there. Come here, little guy. Oh wow, he is so heavy. Oh my gosh. Here is his sweet little face. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at those lips. And he does have painted hair on. He is weighted at about five pounds. I forgot how many inches he is, but as you can see, he is long but very tiny. And his paint is so pretty. The only thing I see is this down here. It looks like, it's kind of hard to pick up on camera, but it picks up a little bit more in person. It looks like a black mark. You guys can kind of see it. It looks like maybe it was potentially supposed to be a vein and maybe I don't know but it's not picking up as dark as it as it is um but so he has a couple dark lines yeah the lighting just doesn't want to show it but yeah you can kind of see on his arm he just has like a black line and then it also goes down his legs too like you can see that so I'm not really sure what that is but he does have it on his arms as well as his legs and so there's the back and then we'll give you an up close of his little feet oh my gosh oh yes and he does have um eyelashes as you can see there so here are his little feetsies you can see the black line a little bit better there i don't know what that is um but that is what he has so that is him we'll lay him down on our boppy that i brought over really quick i don't want to just sit this cute little guy on the ground okay so here's our little Bobby. We'll lay him on there. So we decided to name him Grayson James. I felt like that suited him. And let me go ahead and get this out of the way. Okay. So let me go ahead and pull up the artist info really quick and make sure that focuses up on him. Got my iPad here. <laughs> so that way we can see what it is specifically. Okay. So I bought him off eBay and he is from Cindy Sales Original and her username is here, Joe Graney 1955 And so she's the one who painted him and he is not a kit. I made sure to ask and see what kit he was just in case any of you guys were interested in um, getting one yourself. And he is um, a scan of a real baby. 
So there is no kit of him, but he is a scan baby. I'm not sure what, what the terminology is for that, but he is so, so precious. I'll have to look into seeing potentially getting that weird paint mark off of him in a second. I will do like an up close so you guys can see but he, I believe we got him for, I think it was like 220 something. So he was a very reasonably priced and looks absolutely adorable. And I'm, love, I'm in love with how weighted he is. And so I'm hoping the outfits I got him fit because I was going to do a haul, <laughs> but I found out, which I didn't even think of this, um, is that the color, there can be color transfer and I really don't want that. <laughs> so I went ahead and washed everything and obviously took all the tags off. So it doesn't look like they're new, but they're brand new. Basically, the second we ordered him, I got clothes basically immediately and I've been so excited to open him up. So I will go ahead and grab little Grayson an outfit and then I will change him on camera so you guys can see how cute he is in his new little outfit. Bonus footage. Okay, so I got all of his clothes um, laid out on the table. They were on my bed before because they were on the table, then I had to move them over there. So I just have some long sleeve shirts, socks, little mittens. I have a hat here. I don't know where the other two are. Some blankets. And like I said, these are all brand new. I've just washed them to make sure that there was no color transfer. Short sleeve onesies, which are so cute. Baby Saurus little elephant, like they have so many good deals at Carter's. Some more onesies, a jacket, some pacifiers, which I plan on doing a video of modding them. I'm doing a little chit chat. Here's a shirt that goes with these little overalls. So yes, here are all the clothes that we had gotten him. Uh, for the next baby, I'm going to leave the tags on, do a little bit of a haul, and then just wash one outfit to change them into. So this is the bonus video and bye. <laughs> All right, so I went ahead and grabbed his little outfit. It's this super cute onesie that we got from, is this Carter's? Yeah, we got it from Carter's. They have so many cute clothes, you guys. If you are just watching this video just because you're interested in the hobby, or if you have kids, or if you have reborns or realborns, definitely go to Carter's right now because they have so many good deals and their clearance is crazy. So definitely check that out. And then I was going to also give you an up close of that line since the lighting is a little bit better. So you can see it right there. Um, and then that there and then on the leg, I'm going to see if I can get that off um, with it being consistently on all of the limbs and whatnot. I'm thinking it's supposed to be there, um, but I'm not 100% sure. So I made sure to ask her what size he wears and she said newborn, but he's looking really, really tiny. So hopefully this fits him. Cause like I said, I think I ended up spending like, oh, it was probably $187 or something on baby clothes because I just don't have anything for a little boy and he has to be looking so cute. So I feel like this is gonna be perfect. Yes, it is a little bit warm for the summertime, but we're gonna be inside today. And I do plan on doing some outings with my Reborns. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, uh, make sure to um, like to let me know, you know, you guys would enjoy that. Cause I was looking on YouTube for other people who do outings and there's really not too many. And I love watching like outing videos, like the Patsy family. I think that's how you pronounce their last name. They do so many and they're such a sweet little family. And so I love watching their videos of the outings. I mean, they don't really show reactions of um, like people coming by and commenting on the baby. And so I don't watch it for that really, but I think they're really entertaining and I love how they all support each other in liking the hobby. Oh my gosh, this is already looking so cute. Um, but yeah, I don't have um, any diapers this small. I had gone to Dollar Tree and was looking for some stuff there and the smallest size they had was a size three and that will fit my newest baby that'll be coming in the mail. So <laughs> little Grayson's just gonna have to wait until we can get him some diapers oh my gosh he is so cute and then he has i'm not sure what they call this 
this but his arm basically goes all the way up to his body you guys i'm so sorry i don't know the terminology so please correct me if you do know or if i've said anything wrong because i want to make sure you know i'm saying everything like how i need to so here's what he looks like he is so sweet and i know he's gonna be so so cuddly so that's what he looks like in a super cute outfit i got some socks and a ton of other things that we will um put on him i'll definitely try on a ton of different outfits and if you guys want any changing videos of my sweet little guy definitely let me know because i'm super excited to show him off and i'm so happy that i can say i finally have a reborn or a real born since he's a scan <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching this video and being patient with me and it being my first time opening up a reborn and you know not really knowing how to say certain things and whatnot but i am super interested in this hobby and i definitely plan on collecting and you know doing more in the reborn community doing outings um i did see that the rose doll show had gotten canceled and i was actually really looking forward to it but for 2021 i am hoping that i'll be able to go so once again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye guys